Hi, welcome. My name is Rhonda Favano. Tonight, we're going to look at Louise Hay's book, um, Heal Your Body. Your copy probably is a different color than this, but mine is a very, very old and very well used copy. I absolutely love this book and refer to it quite often. It's a wonderful tool to have in your toolbox. And as you know, we've been giving you a lot of tools over the last um, three weeks. Hopefully you're finding some of them that are really resonating with you and very helpful. Molly did a great job talking about habits earlier today, didn't she? She's awesome. And Tammy discussing the feelings kit and sharing the impact that that had on her family was great as well. So I would just want to give a shout out to those gals who are so wonderful behind the scenes most of the time, anyway, helping me. They are awesome. So love those girls. All right. Um, first of all, before we start doing clearing, and, and some of you were on the video that I did before where we talked about some of this, but for those of you that might not have been, in the Conquering Toxic Emotions book, just for just general reference, on page 40, there's some tips for successful emotional detox. I'm going to read through those really quickly because that will really greatly enhance your process. So have a strong support system in place when you begin this process. Now, granted, we're all supporting each other, and I'm praying over everybody that's in this group every single day, and I know a lot of you are as well, but it's great to have a buddy, to have a partner, to have someone there that if you feel like you're stuck or you feel like you need a little extra support, you need a kick in the pants, um, you need somebody to just lift you up, whatever that is, it's really good to have that person, so I encourage that. But prepare yourself mentally because it's all right here anyway, right? This is where it all begins. So prepare yourself mentally. Then clear your calendar so that you don't have anything major going on. Every time that I do, whether it's a physical, I just did a um, master cleanse a few weeks ago right before we started this. And um, I like to not have to do anything major, especially when I first start it. Once I get into it, you know, four or five days, I'm good to go and I can go for a really long time and be fine. But I like to be able to really focus on it and be mentally attuned to it. And the same thing with this. Now make sure you're drinking lots and lots of water. Tons, you know, it's really important to have enough water. A good rule of thumb is half your body weight in ounces a day. Pure water. I encourage you to spend time in prayer or meditation, both, renewing your mind. Remember, it's here. Keep your journal. You're doing a gratitude journal already, so keep doing that. And visualize yourself help, healthy, happy, balanced, enjoying life. Forgive yourself and others. This is a really biggie. Sometimes we get stuck and we've done everything, or so we think, that we know to do. And we just can't get past something. Well, the reality of that usually is we need to forgive someone. And a lot of the time, it's us. We're the one that we need to forgive because we're hardest on us more so than anyone else, right? So step back, forgive yourself, allow yourself a lot of grace. And if it's somebody else you need to forgive, then forgive them. Because the reality is... If I'm holding a grudge against someone, it's not doing anything to them. It's only hurting me. And ultimately, it will make me sick. So I need to let that go, and I need to move on because they don't care anyway. Be patient and allow yourself some grace, right? If you feel out of control at any time, please, please, please seek professional help. Don't... Um, if you feel like you're, that everything is spiraling out of control, don't try to do this on your own. Get some help. All right, let's go and take a look at Heal Your Body. So grab your book. Oh, and Clarity I used and Cedarwood. So you guys know what I like, you know how I love Cedarwood. Well, let me just tell you what this gal did tonight. Are you ready? My Cedarwood and my Carrot Seed are sitting beside each other 
in the bag. So guess what happened? Yep, you guessed it. Carrot seed first, then cedar wood. <laughs> Don't recommend doing it that way. Don't recommend it, just you guys know why. All right, so over here in Louise's book, she talks about replacing old patterns. And she says something that I think is really, really important. It was not funny. It's funny kind of now, but it was not funny then, you guys. Um, the mental thought patterns that cause the most dis-ease in our body are, ready? Criticism, anger, resentment, and guilt. So those four things cause us the most problem physically in our body and, and emotionally every way. Criticism, anger, resentment, and guilt. So if you don't know where else to start, one of those may be a really good place for you to start. So for tonight's exercise, to show you how to do this, I'm, I'm looking at, oh my gosh, I've been dealing with some kind of physical challenge for a while, and no matter what I do, I can't seem to get past it. So that's when I'm going to go to this book. And you've seen in the book, there are lots and lots and lots of things. So for tonight, I'm going to go over and I'm going to find car sickness. So let me just flip over there real quick. And you guys can follow along so that you see exactly what I'm talking about if you've never used this book. Because at first it can be a little bit confusing. And in this, in, in this section where there's all of the, the symptoms, the physical symptoms are listed, then it's probable emotional causes for that to happen. And over here are some affirmations or some way out, some ways out some ways to shift our thinking. So under car sickness, I see possible emotions contributing to that. The first one listed is fear. The second one is bondage. And the next is feeling of being trapped. So isn't that interesting for car sickness? And I move over to the next column, the third column here, and it says my affirmation or my new thought process is I move with ease through time and space. Only love surrounds me. So we can use that as our affirmation. Choose one of these emotions, these probable emotional causes, and grab your Conquering Toxic Emotion book following me and head over I'm just going to tell you what page to the emotions oils and affirmations page 48 is where it begins now because fear was the very first emotion I'm going to look up fear now if you happen to choose something that you that the emotion was not listed in this book Find the next closest emotion to it, okay? So you'll be able to find something that will align, align with that. So I'm going over here to fear, and now I'm going to choose an oil because I already know an affirmation, right? And I'm going to choose an oil. So the oil that I'm going to choose tonight um, is going to be Valor. Valor's great anyway, isn't it? So I'm going to use Valor as my oil. Now flip on over to the emotional clearing technique. We're going to follow this technique just like we would any other time. We're going to use the affirmation that we got over here in Louise's book because it's very specific for what we're dealing with. So as we go through and we apply the oils and we go through that whole process, our affirmation can be only love surrounds me. You can use that. Or you can use, I move with ease through time and space. Or you could actually say both of them. Very simple. It seems a little bit daunting at first when you start talking about it, but it is such a simple process. And you just follow that emotional clearing technique process like you would for anything else. And when you're ready to move to the next thing, you pop back over here. If there's something else, some other physical thing that you want to work on, you look it up and you follow the exact same steps. Easy peasy. Everybody got that? Any questions about that? Okay. 
So now you guys know what to do when you're dealing with a specific physical symptom. You grab Louise's book, right? This is so powerful. Pairing it with the techniques, the oils, it's transformational. How many of you out there know someone or have experienced yourself some type of physical symptom and have gone to the doctor and they've ran tests and they've looked at, at you and, and asked you a lot of questions and come back and say, we can't find anything physical. And you say, I'm not crazy. And no, you're not crazy. But perhaps this will be a, help, a tool that you can use now to help yourself to, to move past that. Okay, guys, we get, we've got some great things in store for you and a big surprise next week. So stay tuned to hear what that is, but you are going to be blown away. So appreciate you guys hopping on here with me tonight. Appreciate all the comments. Every time somebody comments, it helps everybody in the group. So keep those comments up. You guys are doing a great job with that. Ask any question that you want to ask because um, somebody else is always wondering the same thing and probably five or six or eight or ten people. So, um, oh, wait a second. Somebody said stuck in the past. Well, I would go back and I would probably start with fear. There's probably fear buried in there somewhere. So fear is always a great place to start. I don't know any single one of us that has not dealt with or does not deal with fear. Anything, anybody else have a question? I could actually see my phone tonight. Can you guys believe that? Like multitasking here. Okay, I don't see any more questions, so I'm going to let you guys hop off of here and have a good rest of your evening. Blessings and peace to all of you.